Oh, hi there. How long have you been standing out here for? Okay, well, that's weird and people are looking, but welcome to my flat. This is deeply embarrassing, so just come in quickly before anybody sees you. Hi everyone, it's me. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Alana and I'm a Canadian, but I live here in the UK and today I am going to show you my flat. Now, to be completely honest, I haven't done this before because <laughs> uh, people on the internet can be really mean. <laughs> That's so lame. Uh, people can be very judgy. Uh, so I didn't want to show people my home and then get judged in the comments. Um, so this video is for all the nice people on the internet. This video is for you. If you are mean, uh, this please go somewhere else. This is not for you. If you like this video and you want to see more videos of what it's truly like being a foreigner living in the UK, please consider subscribing. But without further ado, let's go. And to start right off, welcome to the entryway. I don't know what you'd call this room. You can't see it, thankfully, and I'm not going to show you. There are shoes on the ground. There's this shoe cabinet as well that I, I think I got from Ikea. Um, and this is like the entryway. So right, right off the bat, we got stairs. <laughs> Exciting. How do people even do these videos? I'm not even really sure what to say. Well, how about um, we go to the living room, shall we? Okay, you're on a tripod. I'm just gonna carry all of you. Let's, let's go to the living room. Hello, ooh, this is backlit if I ever did see it. Well, okay, I'm out of breath. <laughs> Welcome to the living room. If you have watched my channel for a couple of years, perhaps, I have been on the internet for a while, you may recognize the big gray beast. He is still alive and well, and let me tell you, lumpier than ever. This is the living room. So what do we say about the living room? It has a couch has a TV, has a chair. This chair is actually supposed to be upstairs. Don't tell anyone, I told you that. We also have a lovely plant here that is a bit stressed out. We just got back, um, well, we got back recently-ish from a holiday in Croatia, yay! And this guy had a little bit of a panic, but he's gonna be just fine. The floorboards are a little creaky. You might hear me as I'm moving around, a little bit creaky but the floor here is absolutely beautiful. It was one of the reasons why I love this place so much is the floor, the character, the history. As a Canadian, I have never lived in a property that is so old. This building, couple hundred years old, which is very, very cool, comes with its own issues. Of course, no place is perfect, but the floors are one of the things that I absolutely love. Now I do have the blinds down which kind of makes this room like a little bit dark. It is the middle of the day. Actually, it's like 9.30 in the morning. I just don't want people to know where I live. That's all, okay? <laughs> That's it. Uh, but we got some great views. Just use your imagination. <laughs> now, let me just detach you from the tripod here real quick. My spot is the, the chaise spot. I've got the best seat in the house. You can probably tell because there's quite a bit butt dent in it. So I like to sit here. Welcome. Nintendo Switch at the ready. I also have these two squishy dogs. Long story. They sit here with me. I'm shedding hair everywhere. I got some lip chap. Exciting stuff. We also have the couch fitted with charging cords. It really do be like that here. Now, um, what else do we show? Well, this is the couch and it is not very comfortable anymore. This part of the room is kind of funky. So we have stairs going upstairs. Um, it's like a weird cutout. So we put our um, exercise bike. There's also a rowing machine. There's a box of board games. There's an additional blanket. And there's also two paintings that we have yet to hang. There's the tripod. Um, so this, is this making you dizzy? TV, uh, canvas, beautiful chair, plant. Yeah, this is the living room. How am I doing? Are we, am I doing all right? Let me put you back on a tripod, this is heavy. Now, um, this particular flat we have been in for a year, which is crazy. Where does the time go? 
I don't know. And to be completely honest, we've been here a year um, and we were having our first inspection by the letting agency, the first time that they actually came to check on the property in our entire time here, which is kind of crazy. If you guys have seen my previous video about led letting a different property that was a nightmare, this place has been the opposite. It's been so chill and they've been very like hands off. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. The letting agency came yesterday just to do a visual inspection. And we thought, well, you know what? We should probably do a big clean, a deep clean, do some vacuuming, do some tidying up, do some dusting, you know, the usual things that go with cleaning a property. And I thought, you know what? I should just bite the bullet and do a flat tour video right now because this is as tidy as it's gonna be for the foreseeable future. Okay, well, this has been the living room. Um, exciting stuff. How about we go across the hall um, to the kitchen? That's one of my favorite spots, to be completely honest, and you may recognize it if you've watched literally any of my videos. All right, let's go. Hello. Okay, so this is the kitchen dining room-ish area. And let me tell you, it's one of my favorite spots in this entire flat. And you can probably guess why, because it is huge. Now I have been very lucky to live in two houses and two flats here in the Southeast of England. And none of those properties had anything quite like this. So you have quite a large kitchen open kitchen area, plus you have a dine-in, dining room type area, all very open. We also have a beautiful brick wall across this whole side of the house, which is very cool. And if I scoot you just a little bit, do you recognize this spot? <laughs> this is where I do my videos most of the time. Um, I just think it's a nice little corner. You get the brick wall. Um, I bought this Ikea thing for storage. So I do a lot of my videos over there. Um, yeah, exciting. And then if we scoot over this way, got a bit more of the, the kitchen area, quite a large, um, like, I guess it's not an island because it is attached, but like a large counter. It's kind of blown out because it's so bright, but there is a toilet. <laughs> There's a toilet back in here. And let me tell you, when you use this toilet and someone is in the kitchen, they can hear everything. I know from experience. How about we move closer into the kitchen? Careful, 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 careful. Watch everything. Okay. I don't know, maybe here. You can kind of see a bag of potatoes on the ground. That's fun. So yes, kitchen area, um, huge. I have done some videos here in the kitchen. I post a lot of cooking stuff on Patreon. A little plug for me on Patreon. Oops, <laughs> pardon me, patreon.com forward slash adventures and naps. I post full length content there and a bunch of other stuff, but I do quite a bit of cooking stuff for Patreon, which is filmed in here. And it's really nice to be able to have like proper space before uh, we had a tiny little kitchen. This is absolutely massive. So what else do we say? Well, what do you guys wanna know? One thing that is a little bit different about my situation is that my partner and I are now both completely online. We run our own businesses, uh, multiple projects. Uh, we got a lot of uh, spinning plates currently, a lot of things in the works and um, which is very cool and it's very exciting and stressful and fun. Um, but our living situation made it a little bit weird. So when we were in our last property and we were getting ready to move because the last property was a nightmare, we thought, okay, we can either rent a property that is just large enough for us to live in, but we would also need to then rent a office space. We need workspace, we need storage space for some of our businesses, we need that workspace. Or we could rent a flat that is larger than we need it to be, but that means we can use it as both um, home and business. We would have space to do, do business, we would have space for business, storage and all that kind of stuff. So we decided to do that route here. So this flat is technically four bedrooms and three bathrooms not necessary. Too many bathrooms. We'll come back to that in a little bit when we go upstairs. But that means that one of the bedrooms we sleep in, 
One of the bedrooms is a home office, which I'll show you upstairs. One of the, the, the smallest of the bedrooms um, was able to, we turned into like a closet and storage space. And the final bedroom, which is actually on this main floor, they call it a bedroom, or you, it could be like a fancy dining room. I don't know, you already got a dining space. Anyway, that has been our business storage in our business workshop. So it has been extremely helpful because we do not need to commute to a business office or rent a business space. Um, I know not everybody's in that same situation. Uh, that's our current situation as it is. So it's been very helpful. Also at this property, we do not have a car, which means that we do not have to pay car insurance, buy a car, the price of buying a car, fuel, car tax, any of that, none of that stuff we have to pay for. So we have rebudgeted that into the overall costs of this place and just living costs and that kind of stuff. So it has been extremely helpful to have the business space here. It means we don't have to commute. Um, we don't have a car or car costs. Um, and so far it's worked out really well. Sorry, that was a long spiel. What if I turn the camera that this? Oh yeah, we're trying to sell that down there. Just ignore it. <laughs> also a bin. So like I mentioned, I think, unless I was just thinking that, we have now been in this property for a year, which is so hard to imagine. It has just gone by so fast, really, truly. And I think the tentative plan is that we will be here for one more year, perhaps. And then at that point, we will potentially move on someplace else, maybe someplace else in Kent, maybe go back to a place that we really liked. But this property is very neat and unique, but it is not long-term. It's just for now uh, to have the experience. We also cryptically live in a really cool place um, for privacy reasons. Obviously I don't want to say, but um, overall it's been a really neat experience. It's been very stress-free, not stress-free, but minimal stress, of course. There's no such thing as a stress-free rental because I've never seen it but it has been great so far. Um, I'm very grateful that we decided to go here. I originally didn't want to, quite frankly, because there's no outdoor space. We do not have a garden, a back garden, a front garden, a balcony, none of that. We don't have any of it. And that is the biggest con and the biggest negative for this property is no outdoor space. In the wintertime, it doesn't matter because it's miserable outside and I don't want to go outside, but in the summertime, it is really difficult. So. We'll probably be here for another year and then move on to something new, a new experience, maybe a new town, city, village, who knows, but certainly a place with a garden. That's a bit of a struggle. Also, toilet. <laughs> I'm a little bit blown, I'm a little bit backlit. Sorry about that. You can also see our giant bag of rice kind of tucked over there. Toilet down here. Um, just in case you're cooking and nature calls, why not? Um, I think with that, um, what's more to say? Let's, let's go upstairs. Welcome to the office. Now it is quite dark in here. We have two windows. Um, that is because the landlord anticipated this to be the master bedroom, um, but we decided to make it the office. So there are blackout blinds in here, which are obviously not necessary. Actually, I could probably open, hold on one second. I think that helps a little bit. I just opened one, you can't see it anyway. Anyway, welcome to my desk. So um, this is my second favorite room, perhaps. I'm very grateful for this space. Um, because in our last property, I did all my work and all my business stuff um, on the kitchen table. And while that is doable, there is something to be said about having a dedicated workspace. So this is my dedicated workspace and I just absolutely love it. I'm also very grateful <laughs> because that window is the best window in the flat. And I very kindly accepted that as my, <laughs> my desk. My partner has a desk here to the side, um, but he uses like ginormous screens that block the window anyway, in my humble opinion. I typically just work on my laptop. Now I have a secondary screen 
I have a microphone and I got a big old PC there on the floor because I also live stream. I live stream twice a week on Twitch, every Wednesday night and every Sunday night, and I do it from here. And I did a marathon live stream where I was live for three days in a row. Um, and the Twitch community, God bless them, raised money for me to, to build a streaming computer. So I got that big old boy down there on the ground. So this is where I live stream, but this is also where I work. <laughs> So like I have a regular job, um, YouTube and, and Patreon and Twitch and stuff are really fun. That's like my second job, <laughs> but I do have a real job of which I do here at the desk. I also do all my own video editing for better or for worse, which I then also do at the desk. So I'm very grateful to have this space um, because I just, it's wonderful. And I know realistically in the next property that we go to, I probably won't have a space like this or a view like this. So you gotta appreciate, appreciate it while you have it. Now, if we scoot this way a little bit, um, we got a little table chair uh, action. The chair that is in the living room is actually supposed to be the partner to be up here, but we brought it downstairs. I think cause we had somebody over and we needed an another chair. Um, realistically, they're both supposed to be here cause it looks really cool, but we never brought it back up. So what are you gonna do? Over here, however, we have boxes. Now there's like a little alcove here where we just kind of throw all of our extra tech, cords, anything. We just put it over there. So just don't look. Bookcases you guys may recognize from some of my other videos. Hold on. Sorry, the tripod's probably making so much noise. Let me just take this off for a second. We also have a floodlight down here. Um, I like working with the floodlight on. It's just a thing from Amazon. But when I live stream, um, I typically make it uh, blue because <laughs> it looks really cool at night. Maybe not as bright right now. Trust me, it looks cool at night. Okay, just believe me. The desk, um, I actually got for free from a business that was closing down. Um, they just wanted to get rid of it. So both of our desks in here are just like reused desks that a business we're gonna throw out, which is wonderful. I don't know if you can see the carpet down below. It's just an Ikea thing. Um, I've got some cactuses, some local cacti, if you will. And I got the pots from a woman in the UK that 3D prints stuff on Etsy, which I thought was super cool. So I got some pots from her. I have my free yourself poster. My mom actually bought that for me when I first moved out to college, moved away from home, was going to college. She bought me that for my room and I've kept it with me throughout all my homes and flats. So it's quite personal to me. Now let's go to the bed. No, let's go to the bathroom. <laughs> so up here, upstairs, we have a um, additional bedroom that's like quite small and only has like a half window. So we ended up using that as our storage uh, like closet. I'm not gonna show you that because it's still a mess. Even with our inspection, I'm not gonna show you that. But let's go to the main bathroom. I'll carry you on the tripod. I'm so sorry, every time I carry this and we walk, I end up kicking the legs. I hope you're not like motion sickness. Anyway, let's go. Welcome to the bathroom. <laughs> so this is the main bathroom on the upstairs uh, portion of the flat, uh, quite big. We got this huge giant window. You may recognize this as the window I talked about in the strange things about my flat because this window is not frosted. Uh, it does have a blind, thankfully, but it's not, <laughs> it's not frosted. <laughs> So I don't know, it's, pro it's probably blown out. You can't even see. This means we keep this closed constantly. Unless you'd like to poop while everybody watches. So toilet, wonderful. Um, you've got this little alcove that we've used for like putting our stuff on it. You've got a mirror. This is the tripod. <laughs> this is the thing I've been carrying around the whole time. <laughs> you also have a tub 
um, which we have put extra toilet roll in it because nobody in this house takes a bath. I have maybe taken a bath three times in the last year. Uh, and every time I, I take a bath, I always remember that I can't be bothered. It's just boring and it takes too long. But this is the main bathroom. Um, did you see, it's got some, hold on. It's got some brick here as well um, by the mirror, which is pretty cool. Um, just like architecturally, the flat is very neat. Uh, I've not had this before in any of the places that I've lived in and potentially may never have it again. So like I said, you gotta appreciate what you have when you have it, but otherwise, bathroom. Now, next to the bathroom is the master bedroom. Well, the room that we decided would be master bedroom. Let's come out here and we scoot around here. Here we go. Mirror. Look at this thing I'm carrying around. Okay, let's just, Maybe, sorry, I hope you're not dizzy. Oh, you are gonna be dizzy soon. Bedroom. So, bed is on the floor. Yes, I know. Um, <laughs> well, how? where do I begin? When we moved into this flat, we moved from a very tiny um, one and a half bedroom type places. So over the last year, we have basically just been slowly buying furniture. Nobody ever tells you that furniture is expensive. <laughs> now, can you hear that outside? There's a couple of things we gotta talk about. Let's, let me go back to the bed real quick. We haven't bought a bed frame. You can get decent ones that have storage underneath, which is likely what we should do. Um, it's just expensive and we've had to buy lots of furniture, lots of dressers and things when we've moved into here. So just been trying to like spread out the costs a little bit, but to be honest, there's something very cozy about having the bed on the floor, just a personal preference. Two um, identical dressers, Ikea. This is not sponsored. <laughs> Can you imagine Ikea sponsored me just to say that I bought all their cheap furniture? The giant mirror in here as well is Ikea. Now that thing is what I wanna talk about. That is our new aircon unit. Now it's not new, we bought it used and we bought it dented, which is why we got a good deal on it. But that is, is what that is. Um, any Canadians or Americans watching might find this fascinating because homes here typically don't have air conditioning as we know it. This is an option. It's my first one. I have mixed feelings about it, but it has the, the tube that then goes in the window. There's a slat that you put in the window and you close the window down on top of it. Now, because the windows here, um, how do I put this delicately, are not level. <laughs> when the window sits on top of it, um, there's a huge gap uh, because they're just uneven, which is why I've shoved a jumper, if you can see that black thing is a jumper. I've kind of tried to shove it in to sort of block some of the holes, also some of the light, because the blind can't go down past the tube. It's a, it's a give and take. It is, It does work, it is very cold, there's some issues with the window. Um, it's also, it sounds like a jet engine, <laughs> which thankfully I like white noise. Uh, if you don't like white noise, that might be quite jarring. Oh, sorry again. Bed on the floor. Um, we don't have an end table, so we just use like a bucket. <laughs> uh, full length mirror. So, um, oh, I just noticed toothbrush charger right there on the ground because we don't have any outlets in any of the bathrooms. Uh, again, pros and cons. You just work with what you have, but otherwise um, I like, I love this room. Window thing, trying to get it figured out. Oh, that was the other thing. Because it is a historical property, you can't make changes outside of certain criteria as far as I understand. So many newer homes or even kind of newer homes have double glazed windows. You hear a lot less uh, through them and it's good for heat and cold and that kind of stuff. This property does not have that simply because they're not allowed. So even though the windows are closed, you can still hear people outside very easily. And to be honest, it took a long time to get used to that because I kept thinking that people were in the flat. <laughs> 
because I have that type of anxiety, apparently. Now this, this window in particular um, is slightly agape, a gap, a gape is slightly open. Like I mentioned, it's not level. So um, the blind, anyway, it's slightly open. So you can hear a little bit more, but even when the windows are closed, you can hear a lot. Um, people who watch me on Twitch can attest to that. Sometimes when I'm live streaming in there, all of the windows are closed and we are on the top floor and yet you can still hear people walking past the flat. You can hear cars, skateboards, motorcycles, even conversations. Uh, so that's something we had to get used to. It is what it is. You got to go with the flow. Um, it doesn't ruin the flat for me personally, but it may ruin your experience if you find yourself in that and it's something that really bothers you. Anyway, let's move on. Um, this is your seasickness warning. I'm about to spin the camera around. Okay, so here we go. Careful, careful, careful. This. Oh, wow, getting blown out. This is the final bathroom. Let me just put you down for a second. Hello, what to say about this? Well, this is the bathroom. This is the final bathroom. This, can you see, has a shower stall in here. So this is the ensuite from what we now claim as the bedroom. Then you have this room, another unglazed window, but we do have a blind. <laughs> pedestal sink but no storage underneath we also don't have a mirror in here so i bought a little um poundland mirror just in case you forget what you look like and another cheapy ikea shelf for some storage uh shower room now in my humble opinion of course i'm a renter and that means nothing i am the bottom of the ladder in terms of life progression in my humble opinion that last bathroom that i showed you with the tub I would have made that into a tub shower and either put up like a glass partition or a shower curtain and make this uh, storage because you may have noticed in all of the rooms there are no closets for North Americans that's quite jarring there are no built-in closets no storage whatsoever which is why we ended up making a bedroom the storage room basically but my humble opinion having the tub and the shower separate we're never we never use them at the same time so it kind of feels like a waste of space i would have turned that into a tub shower because it is literally on the other side of this wall is that bathroom turn that into a tub shower turn this into storage but who cares it's not my place i don't think there's anything else to say about this room how about we take one last downstairs um and i'll oh no I'm so sorry. There's another one. Let me, um, we'll move one more time. Okay, hold on. Hey guys, do you remember this setup? The poor couch, um, it was a cheap couch and it is really starting to show its age, but he's still holding on the gray couch. Um, if you're new here, I used to do all my videos at our old flat in front of the couch. Um, so it's kind of a throwback. If you've been with me this long, God bless you for sticking around. One thing I should have said earlier and I totally forgot, and it doesn't matter at this point because I know there's already hundreds of comments. Whenever I talk about renting, I always get the comment that you should just buy a house and renting is dead money. And I can't describe to you how out of touch that is. I do not know many young people who are able to just buy a house um, it's extremely difficult. I currently could not buy a house. So while I could rent a property like this, I certainly can't even buy the property. Definitely not this, not half this, not at all. So renting is just sort of the name of the game currently for me. I appreciate that people disagree and that's fine. <laughs> it's too late now. There's already comments. As with any property, there are always pros and cons. Um, but personally, the pros far outweigh the cons for this place. It feels very special. It's very old and historical. It may be haunted. That's for another time. Um, spoiler, I think it is, but <laughs> I truly love this place and I'm so 
grateful to be here, especially after the fiasco at our last property that was deeply frightening and scary to find a place that is just peaceful um, is very special. If you'd like to watch more, check out this video where I detail all of the crazy, horrible stuff that happened at our last flat. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, bye.